everybody, welcome back to Wake Maker's Project Boat, and today we're changing out our propeller. If you need a detailed how-to video on changing propeller on your boat, we'll have that linked above, as well as in the description below. If you also need help determining what the numbers mean on your propeller, as well as the basics, we'll also have that video linked below for you to check out as well. So first things first, we need to take off this retaining nut. Um, it also then kind of hides what's listed on your propeller as far as what it is, the dimensions, and how much pitch your propeller has. So we can't actually read ours very well, so we're just gonna remove this. All right, so now that we have our nut loosened, we're not taking it off all the way to help with our C-clamp puller when we're using it, but we can actually see now our markings on there. So we have a 13 and a half by 17 and a half inch pitch. Uh, we realize that 17 and a half is not gonna be enough pitch for us to be able to move all the weight we have going on. So we'll grab that puller and get this thing off. <laughs> that was way easier than I thought. I was expecting to have to hammer this guy for hours. Oh man. All right, now that we're out from underneath our boat, we can actually examine some of our components. So on this key, you can actually see just how mangled it is. Uh, which is probably why this propeller came off so easily. Normally it's 20 minutes of down there banging with a hammer, uh, sometimes even using a torch. Uh, we can also now examine our propeller and see just how mangled this thing really is with running aground. Uh, we can also read the dimensions on the propeller that much more easier with it being an Acme 381, 13 and a half by 17 and a half inches of pitch. Uh, the 17 and a half inches of pitch, probably not enough to really help move us through the water since we have so much weight now in the boat. Uh, we're upgrading now to the OJ 15 by 13 inch propeller. Uh, 13 inches of pitch being that much lower, giving us that much more low end torque to just move us through the water, get our riders up and on plane. So let's get this thing installed. Take, take your key, slide it in place. Make sure it sits nice and flat. If there's any gunk in there, be sure to get that out. Take your propeller. There we go. Slide it into place. Take your nut. Once you get your nut tightened all the way on, you take your cotter pin, slide her down into place. <laughs> so a big difference between our previous propeller and our new one is obviously its propeller pitch, but also its diameter. When going up in propeller diameter, you can go obviously up in size, but you just wanna make sure you have enough clearance to handle the propeller blade to the hull of your boat. The absolute minimum you want is about three quarters of an inch. We measured out and we found that we had about an inch and an eighth. So this propeller is gonna give us a huge gain with pushing all the weight we have on our boat through the water to get our riders up and on plane that much faster. Stay tuned for more videos on the project boat.